Well, Randy Zook is the CEO of the Arkansas State Chamber of Commerce and the Associated Industries of Arkansas. He and I sit down from time to time to talk about the state of the state and national economy. Join me now, Randy Zook. He's the CEO of the Arkansas State Chamber of Commerce and Associated Industries of Arkansas. Randy, thank you for being with us. Happy to do it. Good to see you. Let's talk about some things circulating in the economy. Uh, let's begin with the fact that inflation uh, is still with us. It has been with us throughout the summer. It seems to not be dissipating, and that is despite the fact that the Federal Reserve has been raising interest rates aggressively to try to tame inflation. Um, what's your take on how that may not be working? Well, I think it's early days in terms of it working. Uh, it will work ultimately. The problem with Fed policy is that it lags. Uh, the economy, the signals are clear, but it takes a good while for a lot of these new uh, costs associated with higher interest rates to work through the economy. We're already starting to hear about slightly lower uh, real estate prices, a longer time for houses to sell compared to just a few weeks ago. Uh, companies not quite as aggressive in their hiring practices or efforts. So there, there are already early signals, but it's going to take a while. This, this inflation is going to persist for a good while. I, I would guess at least six to 12 more months. I would say, too, that, I mean, it, it, this is worldwide. It's not yes. just in the United States. And so how much can American policy and attempts to influence and change the direction of inflation, um, how much can it curtail what's happening worldwide when those forces are at work in our economy, too? Well, we're still the largest economy in the world. We're still the reserve currency of the world. We, we, we have enormous impact across the, the globe in, in ways and, and in regards to products and commodities that just, you don't even think about them, but, but we're, the, we're the market for lots of uh, product from many, many countries. So the fact that there's not a growth engine, an obvious one, the Chinese economy has slowed dramatically with their zero COVID policy. Uh, we're uh, beginning to, to slow down even if, with all the COVID recovery spending. Uh, Japan has been in the same boat. Uh, Germany is, is, is at the mercy of Russia right now in terms of their energy supply. So there are lots of headwinds across the globe. Yet there is good news, too. I mean, just this week, J.B. Hunt reported some extremely strong profits. Uh, home bank shares record earnings for them. Uh, bank OZK down just a little bit, but I mean, like 1%. Um, and we've got low unemployment. I mean, we're at 3.4% here in, uh, in Arkansas, which is a record low. So I guess my question is, is it as bad as it seems? We're in the middle of political season and everybody is, we're either, this, this ship is wrecked or by gosh, the, the sales are behind us and we're blowing in the wind. Well, I would, I would recast that. Well-managed companies will continue to do well despite the headwinds, maybe with not quite as robust uh, results. But the fact is the, the worst of this has yet to uh, manifest itself. We've got, we've got some tough headwinds just a few months down the road and, uh, that doesn't mean the bottom is going to fall out. That doesn't mean anything is going to be crazy, but we're going to have a softening economy. And you're right. It's a paradox. We have a full employment uh, slowdown. If you want to, I want to call it that instead of a recession so far. All right. Let's talk about the fact that at the national level um, predictions are Republicans will take back the U S house of representatives. The Senate, I think today is a 50, 50 coin toss, but, regardless, there's still going to be a Democratic president in there. To me, that spells gridlock. You tell me, is gridlock good at the federal level? Does it? Does it I, personally, I think gridlock is, is about the most desirable situation that can, that can develop. But, uh, uh, you know, we, we, we need the, the, the heavy hand of government to lighten up, not to, not to play further in, and deeper into the economy. The economy will mend itself ultimately. Uh, market forces will prevail. Market forces will result in, in a return to something more normal. Uh, we're, we're, you know, we have spent and, and, and blown uh, about $5 trillion on top of the normal uh, federal expenditures 
over the last 12 or 14, maybe 18 months. So that's a big rock to throw into the pond and it's, and, and we're going to pay for it for a long time. I got about 30 seconds left. Uh, if Sarah Huckabee Sanders is elected governor, what's your best expectation for the economy? If Chris Jones is elected, what's your expectation with him? For the economy, uh, frankly, I don't, yeah. I don't think they will influence the economy. Uh, well, here in Arkansas. Oh, well, look, Arkansas is healthy. We're going to have uh, our commodity prices are strong. We've got energy resources that are that are sort of dormant right now that need to be retapped. We've got full employment. We need people is what we need, Roby. We've got businesses that are constrained because they can't fully staff themselves. And that's everything from hospitals to poultry plants to steel mills to, to grocery stores. We don't have enough people ready, willing, and able to go to work. Not at the State Chamber of Commerce. Full employment there for sure. <laughs> well, All right. Yeah. He's Randy Zook, CEO of the Arkansas State Chamber of Commerce and the Associated Industries of Arkansas. Always good to get your take. Thank you, Randy. Good to see you. Thanks. That's Randy Zook. He's the CEO of the Arkansas State Chamber of Commerce and Associated Industries of Arkansas. You can catch our full interview at talkbusiness.net. We're back to wrap up after this.